Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike Fertisim and uh, thanks for watching again. So in this video I will discuss or show a modification to the OpenXR toolkit which is huge. Okay guys, before we continue, here's a little uh, important in-flight message for you. Don't forget to stretch your legs, bend your knees, keep that blood uh, running uh, through your veins and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel as we're cruising along this video on a uh, flight level uh, I don't know but uh, hey let's enjoy this virtual world and enjoy the rest of the video don't forget like and subscribe to the channel it will help me out a lot guys thanks for your support because this one will give you a huge FPS boost and performance boost so what this modification does if you have the headset it will you can narrow your view, your field of view, and basically create a kind of a ladder box. And everything outside that ladder box will not be rendered. And that will give you a lot of um, FPS back and also a little bit of performance, of course. Um, and you can narrow it down so it's hardly noticeable that you're not seeing it. And that will also in just increase your FPS. So you can narrow it really down and make it really small like a, like a, like a letter box like this. But that's not what we want of course. Um, but you can make it significantly smaller without noticing that it is smaller. So once you open, uh, because this is in VR, I got my headset here, so in the background you see that. So in VR, when you open the uh, OpenXR toolkit, and you see I already did the mod, and it will say OpenXR toolkit, own the speed mod version 135. So I've got my current resolution set, and I also have me my refresh rate, uh, the headset resolution you see there, and then the uh, maximum resolution and everything else all right so how do we get this mod well first i'm gonna exit the menu here oh in here all right so in the description below this video um, i have the link to the google drive of this developer his name is ownerspeed and when you come there you will see this uh, google drive and you get the version 1.3.5 so just to download it just uh, come in here and then click download all right so there's a uh, readme disclaimer that's a bit more than a picture this is an assigned dll titles which uh, check for anti-cheat like wall hack can be false alarmed by this modification use at your own risk of course we will use this on our own risk and there's a version changes text and in 135 more accurate fov to resolution calculation mod naming and copyright fixes well done okay and then in this folder you will get another folder in here and then you get another zip file you get the same picture here again and in this zip file you will get the uh, the modification for the openxr toolkit all right, so let's close this one. So once you've downloaded it and extracted it, you will get the OpenXR Toolkit Owner Speed mod. Now let me see if I can uh, open it here. Yeah, here we go. So once in here, you will see the uh, the same things as you did on the Google Drive, version 135. Then you get this zip file right here. You got the disclaimer again and then you unzip this file and then you go to the OpenXR toolkit mod. There's a uh, Windows batch file which didn't work for me. So I copied this file into the OpenXR toolkit folder, the original OpenXR toolkit folder, which you can find right here on your program files, OpenXR toolkit and once you scroll down you will see here the xr api layer ambucha underscore toolkit dot dll make a backup of this file 
Save it somewhere safe or keep it in this uh, in this directory under a um, backup name. And now you just copy this one into this folder. And then you can close that. You go out of this, of course, you go out of the sim. Then open your OpenXR toolkit. All right, so this is the companion app. So once you start the sim, make sure you go into safe mode and then reset all the settings. Uh, this is uh, like uh, control F1, F2 and F3 to delete all settings. Go out of VR, disable the, uh, the safe mode and come back in VR and then you can start from scratch with the um, with the OpenXR toolkit in VR. So then back into VR what we're gonna do is in here and we go to performance and I have to go a little bit to the side here so you see here in performance uh, that you can set, you can set all these other things. Of course, you got your overlay for your FPS, your upscaling. And, um, I got foveate rendering on, and so I've got the preset quality and then white turbo mode on. That's that one. So for appearance, I got my post processing on. Uh, inputs. So the overproduction uh, reduction, that's for the shakiness of the headset. But here in system, this is where you get the, the magic. First of all, if you go to menu and then the show expert settings, if you do that, uh, you will see much more. All right, so here in system, so the override resolution, set it to custom, and then you can change your X axis on your FOV and you can also change your Y axis for your FOV. I have both set to 90% but I see that one is now 90.5 which is kind of weird because I had it set to 90. This must be 90. There we go. This is 90%. Field of view switch to advanced and then you can select all these and now all set them to 90 percent then motion reprojection i've got that off and then you can also uh, enable or disable the hair mask if you wish to i'll keep that one always on uh, yes when i'm recording videos in vr And then you get your info box again, and then this one. And that's all. And this will give you a huge FPS boost, something about 30%. Normally I will get around 32, 33 FPS. With this one, I'll easily get to 45, 48. Depends on the scenery, of course. All right, so here we're flying. And I got 36, 35 FPS now while I'm recording. And I'll show you in a uh, picture here. I got about uh, 40 FPS when taking a screenshot. Uh, because with recording, of course, it's going to cost me a lot of FPS. Uh, but this is really great. And the quality is really good. I'm on DLSS balanced. Preset F with the latest uh, DLSS driver but I am on the NVIDIA driver, graphic driver 566.36 so not the latest one also not the hotfix because that driver will give me a lot of audio issues and that's for another video well and you can also use this modification for the OpenXR toolkit together with auto FPS the latest version and as you can see I'm getting around 40 39 to 40 FPS 
And when I'm gonna look here in the back, I'm getting 46. There's always more when you look backwards. Um, this sideways around 40, and then slowly going back here, so it's around 35, and then it will slowly increase with auto FPS to around 38, 39. Which is pretty significant, knowing that I'm recording right now, and I'm getting around 38 to 40 FPS. Pretty happy with uh, with this uh, OpenXR Toolkit mod. I'm glad there was a uh, developer uh, making it a little bit better, and hopefully there will be more changes in the future. But for now, this is uh, pretty huge. Alright guys, what do you think of it? Let me know in the comment below the video. Bye bye.